There are over 1,350 active volcanoes on the Earth. Active meaning an eruption has happened within the last 10,000 years. Out of that, only 500 have erupted historically. That means within the last 2,000 years. Out of all these active volcanoes, only eight have permanent or semi-permanent lava lakes at its summit or on its flanks. In this scenario, permanent means a long-lasting lava lake on the volcano in question. Sometimes a lava lake drains out but fills back up again. More than likely, if you visit the volcano in question, you will see a lava lake. Now, some of the lava lakes that I will be mentioning here in the video are either difficult to get to and inaccessible, or some of them are actually easy to get to. You can actually drive right up to the uh, edge of the crater. Here is a compilation of the long-lasting persistent lava lakes of the world. Number 8, Nyarugongo Volcano in Congo, Africa. It is a stratovolcano whose height reaches at 3,470 meters above sea level. For over 100 years, Nyarugongo had a persistent lava lake at its summit. In 1977, the lava lake drained from an eruption on its flank, killing 600 people. The summit of Nyarugongo is accessible via tour groups. However, political chaos in Congo makes it a dangerous trek, not from the lava, but from dangerous individuals. Nyarugongo erupted, sending lava outside the crater in May of 2021. Today, as of March of 2022, a lava lake remains confined to the crater. Number seven, Erta Ale, Ethiopia, and Northeast Africa. Erta Ale is a shield volcano standing at 613 meters above sea level. The elongated caldera at the summit is about 1,700 meters long by about 600 meters wide. Inside the caldera, there are two active pit craters, and each of them contain an active lava lake. The biggest one is about 145 meters in diameter. Erta Ale means smoking mountain in the Afar language. Erta Ale also holds the record for the longest persistent lava lake. The earliest reports from 1904 also confirmed a lava lake. Number 6. Mount Yasser, Tana Island in Vanuatu in the western part of the Pacific Ocean. It is a stratovolcano that stands 361 meters above sea level. Strombolian eruptions are common. A lava lake resides in the bottom of the vent. The summit is easily accessible and it's just a short hike from the nearest road. Number 5. Mount Michael, Saunders Island on the South Sandwich Islands, which is located 2,000 kilometers east of South America. It is a stratovolcano that stands 990 meters above sea level. The summit of Mount Michael is inaccessible due to the harsh terrain and weather. However, a persistent lava lake has been confirmed by satellite photos, just like you see right here in this infrared photo taken by NASA. That bright dot where the arrow is pointing to is the active lava lake inside the crater. Number four, Mount Erebus on Ross Island, Antarctica. Mount Erebus is a stratovolcano that stands 3,794 feet above sea level. This video from 2007 captured an explosive eruption of lava inside Erebus. Since there is no longer a camera at the summit monitoring the activity, Mount Erebus is monitored by satellite. The summit contains a persistent convecting phonolytic lava lake, one of the longest lasting lava lakes on Earth. Number three, Volcan Masaya, Nicaragua, Central America. It is a pyroclastic shield volcano that stands 635 meters above sea level. Masaya is nestled inside an 8-kilometer by 4-kilometer caldera. There are four pit craters at the summit, and there's a lava lake inside the Santiago crater. 
The lava lake is easily accessible. In fact, you can actually drive up to the crater's edge, just like you see in this photo. A nearly persistent lava lake is nestled at the bottom of the crater. Number two, Oldo Inyo Lengai, Tanzania, in Eastern Africa. It is a stratovolcano that stands 3,188 meters above sea level. Oldo Inyo Lengai means Mountain of God in the Maasai language. Oldo Inyo Lengai volcano is the only volcano that erupts natural carbonatite lava. This cool lava is almost 500 degrees Celsius and it flows very fast, like water. Natural carbonatite lava during the day appears black, just like this. However, at nighttime, it glows a dull red. It is very fluid due to its low silica content. This lava lake that you see here is about 5 meters wide. At any given time, there is always a small persistent lava lake inside the crater of Oldo Inyo Guy. Every time I visited there, there has always been a lava lake. This is what the lava looks like at night at Oldo Inyo Guy volcano. Here's the lava lake right here. And you can see that it's very dull. It's about as bright as a glow from an electric stove. I took this footage from July of 2001 and you can see another smaller lava lake which is about a meter in diameter getting ready to overflow. Now this footage I shot in 2002 shows a 10 meter wide active lava lake erupting lava about 10 meters into the air. This is a close-up of the lava lake I filmed back in 2004. Number one, Kilauea Volcano, Hawaii, the big island of Hawaii in the United States. Kilauea is a shield volcano that stands 1,247 meters above sea level. Throughout history, lava lake activity has always been a part of Kilauea, either at the summit or on its rift zone. Or just like Messiah, Kilauea Volcano is also known as the driving Volcano as well. Where you can literally just drive up to the crater's edge and watch the activity from your car. As of March of 2022, a lava lake is present at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. 